Today we're going to be 3D printing a Cybertruck. So as you can see here, I did have a bit of failure, but thankfully, three parts of the four printed off. So I was able to print off the fourth part there, and then all the stuff for the wheels. And links to the original designer's model will be in the description below. Now also be wary that this is not actually a perfect replica of the current day Cybertruck. This is based on like the original kind of announcement and stuff back in the day. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and build this up. Now this vehicle in real life, I don't think it looks particularly great. But as a model, I think this is going to end up looking cool. And hopefully it'll look relatively interesting. And you can see here we've got four parts of the body. We've got two sizes of wheels. So you're supposed to obviously set uh, print off full sets of the wheels. There's small and big versions, but I went for two small at the front and two big at the back. You've got hubcaps and you've also got windows as well. And after gluing the body parts together, this is what we have. And you can see that the windows will just eventually be placed in. I also gave them a spray paint of black as well, along with the body part too. And yeah, the thing is actually starting to come together and looking great at this scale. I'm also happy I went with the two sizes of wheels. I think it's going to just give it a little bit more character too. And we've also got the hubcaps sprayed up in silver as well. Yeah, this is looking cool. This is one of those projects that when I first seen it, I was like, hmm, not sure if this is what I want to do. But once all the parts were printed off, I really started loving it. Now I did have to do a little bit of work. So the axles... When I first uh, started printing this off, I thought the axles were holes that went all the way through so you'd have one axle for each side, but no, it's actually just kind of insets on each side. So if I was to make a difference here and go back and change this, I would make it so the axles could go actually through the entire body in one piece. And I ended up having to make my own custom pins to attach the axles, which then made it harder to make them free spin. I was still able to make them free spin, but it could have just been better. And here I am just gluing up the body and I'm also going to add the windows on because we can do all this without the wheels at the moment. And that will have us most of the way done. And of course, we'll get a really good look at how it overall looks. So as you can see, we've got our body together and just kind of held together with rubber bands. And then we're going to glue in the windows as well. And yeah, this is awesome. I do love it when the 3D models allow you to print off the, the actual windows as separate pieces. So of course, you can just spray paint up the body and then add the windows in and then you're done. And it looks brilliant. And I did spray these windows in matte black, but I could have maybe gone with gloss windows and possibly it would have been a better overall uh, look at the end, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure if I picked the right choice or not there. Now, feel free to subscribe because I do a 3D printing project every single week if you enjoy this kind of video. Now, let's crank up the fast forwarding speed as we are now almost finished with the body. We're going to attach the rear door as well, and that'll be us. And then we can move on to attaching the wheels with their axles. And yeah, we'll be making great progress, to be honest with this. I wasn't sure how this one was going to print off entirely, but it ended up being really, really good and an enjoyable 3D print. And even though I'm not a big fan of the truck itself, I think this uh, size scale of it just is extra cool for some reason. Now we've also got the wheels going to attach all our hubcaps and we will be able to move on to completing this. And yeah, we're almost done. So as you can see here, after letting it all dry, we've got our body complete. They got the rubber bands and yeah, I think this just looks incredibly good. I can see why people thought it was going to look good in real life. It's got some nice kind of uh, curves, although of course curves is not the right word for this. There's not a single curve in it, but it has something that just looks good. Uh, but the real size one just looks a bit ugly, like a brick, whereas this actually looks cool as hell. So we're going to go ahead and attach the wheels now. And it's just pretty simple. I've made off these custom printed uh, axles that are printed sideways rather than going vertical with them. That way they have half decent strength. But like I was saying earlier in the video, I wish the holes went all the way through. And that was an easy fix. I could have done that before printing this off. Um, I just didn't realize. And I also could have drilled holes after the fact as well. But that is the major change I would go back and redo because it would mean the axle could be free, whereas these axles are getting printed in, which means that the wheels themselves need to be free. And it just made it a little more complicated than it needed to be. So that's one side done, and you can see I'm now gluing the axles into the other side. 
And yeah, there's also no way these wheels are coming off afterwards. But they do rotate, so that's cool. And we're almost done. And the main thing here was just to make sure that when they actually dried, that they were in the right horizontal location, so that obviously they would be not uh, skewed when they're spinning around later. But yeah, it's complete, and it looks really good. I'm so happy with this. It really came out gorgeous. When I first seen it, like I say, I was like, mm, not sure if I'm going to be able to print this too well. And certainly got some annoying uh, marks on the sides there. Didn't print beautifully, but the top really looks good. Like, not a single issue at all with it. And very happy with how it's come out. Really, really good. Simple enough print. Reasonably good to do. I would recommend this quite a bit, actually. It's a, a good one to print off. And I would just make those changes with the axles, and I think you'd end up with a far better overall uh, finished product. But as something that's just going to sit on a shelf somewhere for me, I think this looks really freaking cool. Love it. And of course, you could print this up, uh, you could paint this up with any paint job you want. And I think it would come across really good. But yeah, that is the Cybertruck. Not actually the one that is currently being produced these days, but a version of it based on the original concept art. And it comes out beautiful. Again, links in the description below if you want to go make this yourself. Very much worth having a go at it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. And there is way more videos on the channel doing all kinds of different 3D printing projects as I do one every single week. And I've been doing this for just over a year now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.